Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is my first video of the new year. So happy new year, everybody. I'm kicking off this year by doing a project with a brand new machine in my workshop, the F1 Ultra from Xtool. If you've been following along with my videos, you probably know that I have the Xtool S1 and I love it. I use it all the time, but I wanted to get the F1 as well because it not only has a diode laser, but it also has a fiber laser, which means that you can more easily work with a lot of different materials such as metal, which brings me to the project that I'm going to be doing today which is laser engraving some lightsaber hilts. Let me show you guys the lightsabers I picked up specifically for this project. We got these two beauties from Saber Theory. They're just two very basic metal hilts. I got one in kind of this darker space gray and one in this bright aluminum. And I picked these specifically because the hilts are pretty simple in design. So there's gonna be a lot of good real estate here for laser engraving. And if you are interested in also getting these specific hilts, I will link them down in the description. So let me show you guys the F1 Ultra and we'll get started. So this is the machine. It's a really good size in my opinion for hobbyists. You turn it on just by pressing the round button on the side. And after everything boots up, the control panel screen will come on. And this is where you control everything. These up and down arrows over here are how to focus the laser. Let me give you a better look here, but basically whatever height the surface of your material is, you need to focus the laser so that the red and blue dots overlap. This next button is the framing button, which will visually show you the area in which the laser is going to engrave, just so you can make sure everything is placed where you want it. And finally, the big green button is how you begin processing. On the side of the machine, you have your computer and accessory ports, as well as the emergency stop. Since we're engraving on a cylindrical surface, I'm going to be using the Xtool RA2 Pro, as well as the Deluxe Accessory Kit. This is a rotary tool that interfaces with the F1 Ultra, and is going to rotate, allowing us to engrave on a rounded surface. This is just kind of a sped up montage of me assembling it. The arms can hold a really wide variety of different sizes, and this little alignment tool on top is super helpful for making sure the laser is focused on the topmost surface. I'll show you more on how that works in a second. But first, I just disassemble the lightsabers. I'm starting with the bright silver one first. I just want to isolate the blank section of the hilt, which is going to be engraved. And then I'm just repeating this with a space gray hilt. Now we can slide the part right onto the RA2. And use the key to tighten the grip. Next, the alignment tool slots in so we can find the topmost surface of the material. It's a bit hard to see with how shiny the hilt is, but you can see that that green line is where our origin will be. Alright, now it's time to actually create our design in Xtool Creative Space. This software is super easy and intuitive in my opinion. The UI looks a lot like other design space programs. For the design, I want to do the Jedi code in Arabesh. So I'm copying the text into the program, changing the font, and then after inputting the diameter of the cylinder, we can actually just click this icon up here, and it will show us a simulated preview of how the design will look. I decided I want the text block to be a bit taller and narrower, so I'm just making some adjustments. And it's really easy to just go back and forth making tweaks. And then you'll notice I'm clicking this framing button down here. This is so that I can physically see inside the machine the area that's going to be engraved. Finally, I just select the power and speed settings that I want, as well as the type of laser that I want to use, and then just hit process. This processing took about 11 minutes. The text came out amazing, honestly way better than I expected. It did get a little messed up at the top where I stopped the machine for a second to look at the engraving depth and very stupidly bumped into the rotary tool. That was my bad, that was dumb of me. I should have just let it go. But at least now I'm positive about the settings and I can do a perfect engraving on the other hilt. Something to note, 
With the rotary tool, the shield is not going to be able to fully shut all the way, so you do need to make sure you're wearing laser safety glasses while it's operating, and make sure there are no kids or pets in the room while it's running. The space gray came out so perfectly, and it's hard to tell on camera, but the engraving actually has depth to it. So it's not just a surface etching, it actually engraved deep down into the metal, and this is permanent. I'm super impressed with how crisp the lines are, and just how clean everything looks. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this project. I honestly feel like there's so much potential with this laser engraver for making custom lightsabers. Everything seriously came out so clean on these hilts. And I feel like I can see myself adding some kind of logo or picture on the back behind the arabesque. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but it came out so good. Honestly, for anybody who wants to start customizing their collectibles, even doing custom jewelry and things like that, the F1 Ultra does an amazing job and I honestly really, really recommend it. X-Tool has a bunch of different laser machines different sizes, different types. Thank you guys so much for following along with this project. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.